Friend of Eugenia Cooney, Jacqueline Glenn, calls for her deplatforming, at least temporarily. Is it a slippery slope or just the right thing to do? Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Tommy C. And this is Shop from the Point News. Listen, uh, we have a really different situation. We know the situation for Eugenia Cooney. Uh, we know she's seek treatment in the past. And nothing seems to work. She is um, ter- terrifyingly skinny. And uh, we've also heard complaints from her friend, um, who I do think has her best interest in mind, Jacqueline Glenn. Um, she's made many claim- uh, complaints about uh, Shane Dawson's documentary on her, you know, basically saying it's a whitewash. And it seems like uh, she feels like she's in a desperate situation right now. And She's um, encouraging a petition that's already out there to ban her from YouTube. Now, I have my opinions on this, but I'm, I'm going to listen, let you listen to the first minute of this video, which pretty much explains exactly what her goals are in this. So try to hear her out before you, know, you, 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 um, you form your opinion. And uh, yeah, I'll play it right now. Right now, there is a petition to have Eugenia removed from her social platforms, at least temporarily. I want to go through and give my thoughts and opinions on the entire situation, but I do want to start off being completely transparent with everybody. I was recently contacted by another YouTuber, Pastel Bell. She's made a lot of really great videos on this topic, along with so many others, and I'll link a lot of relevant videos in the description, so make sure to check out all those videos, because I'm not going to go over everything everyone has covered. But she reached out to me asking for me to support this petition that has been going around. Now, I did look at the petition, and I, I agree with it. It calls for YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram to step in to temporarily remove her from these platforms while she receives help. And I'll also link this below if you want to read the full thing, but it also goes on to explain that YouTube states in its TOS that they don't allow content that encourages dangerous or illegal activities that risk serious physical harm or death. For a long time, I've wavered on what to do with this, whether I should speak out or not. I have had a lot of doubts in whether or not I should say anything because I have been heavily criticized before in the past for doing so. I've made excuse after excuse to keep my feelings on this to myself. It has taken me quite a long time to get to this point where I'm sitting down and choosing to speak out about it because throughout the whole thing I have had this voice in my head that says, what if? I know Pastel Bell was reaching out to YouTube support and hoping that they would give a response. Unfortunately, they responded saying they don't see that it is a violation of their terms of service. So that's frustrating and I guess my hope that is if there are enough signatures on this petition, something can be done by someone. Now before I say my opinion in this, I, I have to let you know that I have a great deal of empathy for Eugenia Cooney. And I don't believe, not at all, that uh, Jacqueline Glenn is trying to do anything devious. Uh, I think she's doing the right thing in the sense that she's putting her friends first. Um, so I don't think this is a typical situation where this is not uh, a call for uh, a political ban. Uh, this is not a call for, uh, you know, somebody has different ideas from me than me. This is not some kind of uh, backhanded false flag. This comes from a place, from Jacqueline's perspective, to do the best for somebody she cares about. The problem is, is there are what evidence is there and is it even realistic because i think it's pretty clear that eugenia has problems that um extend far beyond social media so is it even logical to consider that a ban from social media will stop or impede any kind of problem she has it also gives youtube a option to pull your content um, if you don't get help, which is a real weird, slippery slope. And it also gives them a lot of power over the individual. In other words, if you don't get the help that you need, and I'm sure this can be stretched out to other things besides uh, um, anorexia or bulimia, uh, we're going to remove your channel. What if you don't get the mental help you believe because you've been decided that you are crazy or something like that? This could be stretched in so many different directions. And you're giving corporations an incredible amount of power 
over the individual. As she pointed out, YouTube states in terms of service that YouTube doesn't allow content that encourages dangerous or illegal activity, risks uh, serious physical harm or death. Here's the, and is, is, is Eugenia, and maybe I'm not aware of this, and if th this was the case, I would be 100% on board. Is Eugenia encouraging vocally with her mouth saying it to live the type of lifestyle that she's living? Is she? Well, I don't think so. I don't think I don't think she's encouraging anybody to be like her. In fact, it's 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 uh, very rare that she even talks about um, the situation or her or her uh, appearance. The only time she ever did is when she get got some softball questions and some whitewashing uh, by Shane Dawson. So simply by being her. Um, I, I don't know if that's enough to say she's encouraging something either dangerous or illegal. She's a streamer. She's a video maker, just like everybody else. And I really don't think unless she's actually expressing, uh, or encouraging people to eat like her or not eat like her. Uh, which she clearly isn't because she repeatedly claims that she doesn't have a problem. She's not encouraging any kind of dangerous or illegal activity whatsoever. And, you know, the frightening thing is if this becomes a thing and too many people sign this and YouTube takes notice, they can get involved in your medical issues. And I'm sorry, I, I, I don't want to, corporations, especially uh, in the last five days, have way too much power. Uh, not just in the United States, but the entire Western world. I'm I, I, I'm sorry if, if they think I'm ill in any manner, which can be stretched, I, like I said, in a, a thousand different ways. I don't think they should have that type of power. And unfortunately, Eugenia uh, apparently has a lot of people around her uh, that don't take whatever illness she has very seriously. Um, it, it, it must be terribly frustrating if not infuriating for Jacqueline Glenn. So, and that stretch, like, I, I don't think she be should she, she should be treated like a mundane mat. I don't think she should be treated like uh, the platformer. And I, of course, I imagine her uh, argument would be, you know, what if she dies? And the cruel, simple, simple, but truthful answer is, YouTube, Twitch, Instagram, and Twitter are not responsible for that. And there's no evidence that if all four of those things are taken away, that it will impede whatever she has. And the power that you're giving YouTube, Instagram, Twitter and, you know, is unimaginable and could goes so many different ways and controls so many different people. I mean, yeah, if they can't, if you're not breaking their uh, terms of service in one way, then maybe you need some help. Now, that is not Jacqueline Glenn's intention. But that's kind of the way the world is right now. Um, you, you take something legitimate and... Um, like a legitimate problem, a legitimate issue, social issue, health issue. And you kind of pass it off on everybody else. And uh, I think our, our personal freedoms are under attack uh, more than ever. And uh, I think by signing this petition, even out of love or concern, is, is handing that, and, and I'm sorry, um, you know, I personally have a problem with it. I think uh, Jacqueline's a good person and I think she cares very deeply for Eugenia. And I'd like to think if you could just snap her Twitter, Facebook away and, and, and force her to do something, um, that this would all be behind us all. But the fact of the matter is you can, uh, these, these mental disorders and that's, that's what bulimia and, uh, anorexia anorexia is 
um, probably can't be taken away. I mean, plenty of girls have these problems without having a social media following. And uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I think you put freedom of expression and speech in, um, in peril. And uh, yeah, it, it, if you give these companies a license to do that. And uh, again, who knows if it wouldn't get worse. Oh, they take all, you know, and she dies shortly after. They take all her social media away. Well, the Jack and Gun's going to get all the heat for that, unfairly. But that will be the case. So, no, uh, I'm sorry. I, I would discourage people from um, signing this petition, no matter how much they care about Eugene Akuda, for reasons that there's no evidence going to help. And you can't get social media big tech to be able to force you to go to the doctor and uh but I, I do have a great deal of empathy for her and uh yeah, i have a great deal of empathy for for jacqueline um I'm, I'm absolutely sure she put a lot of thought into this before you know she called to platform somebody i don't think this is a we haven't heard a lot from jacqueline and sheena uh, recently at least in mainstream drama so no, absolutely not. And, uh, you know, I hope Eugenia gets better. I hope they find a way uh, that, you know, there, there are some people you can't help. And uh, I don't think taking social media and making that kind of precedent is going to change any kind of outcome. Um, I like to find a better way to find to help you too.